So I got a response to the video I did for why white men date black women if they choose to do so. You know, and I got a couple of responses. You know, some people are upset. Um, I understand why. But then um, I guess this white guy responds. Um, and in the video I talk about how I'm from the suburbs and how I pretty much grew up around upper middle class and lower class, you know, white boys, so I kind of know how they think and where they're coming from. Um, and he responded, he had a text response, and one of his first words was, uh, Mr. Suburb. And he used it in a tone as if, or he used it in a manner in which to suggest that because I was black and I grew up in the suburbs, I didn't know what I was talking about. And that the only people I must have been around were rich people. And I laugh at that. Because it speaks to a greater... It's, it's just like, you know, a microcosm of a bigger situation. It seems like the dominant white society... Tends to seek out and value... And only value the... I don't even say value, that's, that's a stretch. But they only seek out the opinions of people who come from lower class environments. Think about the news. Think about CNN and all these other political places. When they're talking to average people, when they talk to somebody, an average black person, they're talking to somebody who comes from a poverty stricken environment. Same thing with Mexicans. But if they talk to an Asian or anybody else, they're typically middle class. And if you want to get nitty and gritty, especially if they're white, they're typically, you know, upper middle class. You're not going to see um, CNN or any of these places interview a white guy from Kentucky in some overalls in a pitchfork, you know, with missing teeth. Even though his opinion does count, you're not going to see that. All right? Well, when it comes down to black people, if you have something to say about a black issue, right, and if you're not from the hood per se, you know, as they call it, you know, the problem doesn't matter. They can't fathom that you're middle class or upper class or in the suburbs and you're black, but you still know about the black struggle. And that's the problem. I know TV is TV, but remember Fresh Prince? Remember how uh, Carlton and Will went to the same school? Just look at how Carlton's friends, the white boys, treated Carlton as, oh, what do you know? You know what I mean? You're, you know, you're black, but look how you talk. Look where you live. Not knowing where his parents came from. And they looked at Will. Oh, shit. Will, you're from the hood. You wear your hat backwards. You wear your jacket inside out. Let's listen to what you have to say. And yeah, some might say, oh, but that's TV, that's TV. That's how the shit is. Really. And so this speaks to the whole... It speaks to how, in my opinion, dominant white society feels about black people. If you're educated or you're from the suburbs or anywhere, you're the exception. What you say doesn't, doesn't really count. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about or, or uh, I don't know what you're saying. And no, you're not from, you know, the hood hood. Shit, even in my graduate classes, you know, you know, you do a lot of debating and a lot of discussion, um, and I always have something to say, and you know, the whole class focuses when I when I speak. They don't really know where I'm from, but you know, I'm a you know, big buff black guy, you know, so automatically they're thinking, oh, okay. He must be from the inner city, you know. He, oh, he must be someone who turned his life around. Oh, football didn't work out for him, so, you know, he... But let's listen to what he has to say. And they don't know that I probably, you know, come from a home where my parents made just as much or maybe even more than, you know, their own parents made. And I can just see the level of detail in which they, you know, they listen to me. Right? You can see it. And I can see how they listen to some of the other black people because um, I go to a small private school so just the general population comes from money 
and I can see you, especially when a, you know, uh, a black female talks who may be mixed or, you know, who may have grown up in a white environment, and everybody knows because the way she dresses, the way she does her hair, you know, how they kind of listen to how what she has to say, but how the whole class shuts up when I open up my mouth. And I wonder if it would still be the same if they knew where I came from. Who knows, huh? I have a guess, but, you know, who knows, right? So, at the end of the day, I'm not trying to shit on dominant white society. I'm not trying to shit on white people. And that's what, you know, weaker people are going to say, oh, he's, you know, he's hating on white people. He's a racist. First of all, I'm not a racist. If anything, prejudice. And I'm not even that. But, you know, know your definitions. Um, but... It's for them to understand that if you talk to a black person who's upper class or middle class, value what they have to say, all right? Because quite frankly, you don't know where his parents came from, you don't know where he grew up, you don't know his fucking life at all, all right? Pure and simple. This is not to bash, this is more to fucking educate people so they can open up their fucking eyes. Because a lot of white people think that, oh, you know, if he's not from the hood, I don't know what he's talking or uh, I don't know what he's talking about. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't know what he's saying. What are you talking about? You're, you know, you're, you're whitewashed. Shut up. You don't have braids. You don't have cornrows. And that's the problem. They're not used to seeing black people who are articulate who still know where they come from and that's the problem so they don't understand that you can still know your struggle you can still know about racism they don't understand, they don't see that that's why a lot of white people are crying reverse discrimination or reverse racism so they don't understand that they think just because you've made it and you go to their schools or anything like that you know you've already arrived and you don't know what you're talking about and you're not part of the struggle Because you're on the same level as me. You're not below me, so I don't care what you have to say. So it's funny. So think about that. Really, think about it. Next time you watch TV, you watch CNN or Fox News or even the general news when they talk about politics and whatnot, and they talk to a black person, look at where that black person's from. Look at the city they're in and look at the, you know, the black person they're talking to. And there's nothing wrong with them talking to those people. I'm not trying to say that. But all I'm trying to say is, you have black people in the middle class and the upper class that refuse to get looked at because we can't connect with these people. When we came from the same conditions they come from. And we still got family, our girlfriends, our wives, our husbands come from some of these environments. They act like just because you live in the suburbs you've never been to the inner city or you don't have family there or you don't spend Thanksgiving or Christmas there or you don't know what's up so like I said in closing this shit is not to bash or put anybody down but it's more to educate alright and if you don't like my tone I don't really care because this is a serious issue and it's only when someone's mad that people seem to listen and understand what he's talking about